Look at my new hoodie, BioDrop. In this video, we're gonna talk about BioDrop, which formerly was known as Linkfree. So let me tell you how it all started and tell you where we are today. So it started on a live stream. I was short on ideas and I asked the community, what should we build? And they suggested it'd be great fun to create an open source clone of the link sharing platform, Linktree. And we, on the live stream, it was called link free woke up the next morning and we had so many pull requests and issues and ideas from people it was amazing and let's fast forward even a few more months and many live streams github issues pull requests discussion great geek out sessions and we thought it'd be a great idea to turn link free into a SaaS platform because the platform had evolved so much from just a link sharing platform we also had um, other important information like your career milestones your future goals. It acted like a resume, events you'll be attending, testimonials you received from other people in the community, a map where all our members were around the world. So if you were going to a certain location, you could geek out with other people in person. Naturally, we wanted to learn and absorb as much information as we could on where to begin this SaaS journey. I've created many open source projects over the years, but didn't turn any of them into a SaaS platform. And I think that requires a lot more thought and Coding becomes less important. It's still important, don't get me wrong. Before you start hating me in the comments below, it becomes a little bit less important. And there are so many other things you need to think of. There are only so many articles and YouTube videos that you know, someone can actually physically watch on the subject. And it's a great way to learn and of what to do and more importantly, what not to do. But it's also good to actually chat to other you know, startup founders, especially ones who are doing it in the open source space to see kind of what they've done, what they would do differently next time around. We applied for the GitHub Accelerator, and this seemed like a really good idea, especially because their mission statement was pioneer new ways for developers to simply and sustainably work in open source full time built on the developer's terms. It was a great feeling to hear this, and we got accepted, which just was amazing. I remember being really early morning, I was having breakfast, checking emails, and I saw we got accepted. And I ran upstairs and jumped on the bed and said, Sarah, wake up, I know it's early, wake up. We got accepted to the GitHub Accelerator. So that was super exciting, and what an amazing 10 weeks we had. Those 10 weeks were followed by workshops and presentations and conversations. And we realized that was the beginning of a lot of hard work that we had to do. One of the clear messages that was coming from everywhere, the community, the accelerator, and the founders that we spoke to was we really need to do something about the name Linkfree for multiple reasons. One, it was very close to Linktree. Linkfree was, yeah, it was too similar. We wanted to differentiate ourselves from that because we had so many more features. Also, Linkfree, some people said, well, if you're going to own a SaaS platform and still have a free tier, but have a premium tier, maybe it's not the best name. But coming up with a name is really hard. I mean, you think name Naming variables is hard. Naming a project is super difficult. And then trying to get that name available on social platforms is even super, super more difficult. And then which domain types or extensions that you want as well to see if they're available or not is so difficult. We're not sure what other founders have done to come up with the names of their businesses, um, but I'm pretty sure ChatGPT is involved in, in quite a few. But if anyone did tell us it was an easy process, we wouldn't believe them. We did ask, the community asked many people, asked ChatGPT, did Google searching. We spent hours, days, and weeks trying to come up with a name. Do you think you've cracked it and then the domain or social accounts are not available? When we finally thought of a name, we had other challenges. We thought, would, would people like it? Could it be read in a different way and be misunderstood as something else? So we decided on the name BioDrop. So now we had a name. Now what? We're not branding experts, but nowadays the, the brand and what it conveys and what it can achieve for you is undeniable. We had to quickly figure out how to navigate these uncharted waters for us of starting a SaaS platform. It was important to take an advice and see what resonated with us the most. That's why we decided to work with an agency creating the logo and brand guidelines for BioDrop. When it came to the final logo reveal, we didn't actually feel quite nervous. We were so nervous. We weren't sure if we were gonna like it. Yes, 
just we had worked with them to get to it and we had asked the maintainers and the community members and we had worked closer and closer to what we wanted but still you just don't know exactly what you want and you don't know kind of exactly what you're going to get so it is super super interesting and nerve-wracking at the same time so i would like to say without further ado let me do a big logo reveal but i've kind of shown it on my hoodie already but I will put it on the screen as well for you to see it in all its glory. Given that this idea started out on the live stream and has really been powered by the Eddy Hub community, we wanted this to come across. We love that if you look at the bee more closely, you'll be able to see a semicolon, which is really often used in programming, unless you're doing Python, but let's just, you know, bio drops written in JavaScript, so we'll stick with that for now. As well as half a user on their laptop, so there is some hidden meanings in the logo, which we think is super cool. And we actually do have some new ideas from Dean. Thank you very much for to uh, put some more Easter eggs on the BioDrop platform. So let us know in the comments below if that's something you think would be pretty cool, interested in. And we could do some giveaways if people find the Easter eggs. So is that it? No, there's still so much more to do, but even on the rebranding side, there is still so much to do. We had to rename the GitHub repo. We then had to update all the GitHub secrets, and then we had to do the same on the Vercel environment variables. We had to update all the mentions of Linkfree to BioDrop on the website and app and documentation itself. And now we have uh, accounts on Twitter, or X if you like to call it that, Instagram, LinkedIn. So I know you have all been asking for those for a long time as uh, so now we've got those official accounts as well and we're super super excited to share more content and more of your content um, and your profiles that you create on those platforms as well so after a well-deserved evening off on the whole branding day launch there are only one or two glitches that we worked on for the next uh, few days they were very small and they just came up as people noticed a big shout out to dan who also noticed our curl commands for loading the json profiles into the database. So what do we have next for the you know future of BioDrop and our SaaS journey? Well, we hope to reveal those very soon. So if you want to learn more about that, don't forget to follow our social accounts of BioDrop. Also subscribe to my video here as well. And I'll be sharing more. Let me know in the comments below what more you would like me to share on it. I'd love to take you through the code, uh, through the design process, and I can get guests on who could also help with that and give their perspectives. Actually, I'm really keen to get Sarah on with me as well and review some of your open source projects as well. Again, I always find that fun to do. So let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget, you can geek out with me on BioDrop, the open source platform. Every day I work on it full time. So come and geek out with me. Link in the description below. I'll see you there.